there are a couple of things on this mobile PCB right here on all mobile PCBs in which you are not actually using and those things are very important so in this video I will show you some few things on this PCB that you should start using right now I will show you five things on this PCB that you did not know about which are very important can make your repairing skills improve so the first thing that I will want you to know and start using it right now on any mobile PCB will be TX. There is always a point on a mobile PCB which is named TX and this is the point that I'm talking about. So I think you have been seeing this point then you are asking yourself what is the use of this point right here. This you, this So this point right here is actually to connect your phone to flash mode you can use this phone this point right here to connect your phone directly to flash mode so what do i mean by that for example let me say this pcb right here it's on a phone and i want to flash the phone you all know that if you want to flash the phone you are going to press the volume up or the volume bot volume down button then connect your usb for the flash tool to read the phone so that it will start flashing but this point is useful when you press the volume up or the volume down but yet the flash tool does not detect the phone which means that you haven't pressed the boot key for the flashing software to identify the phone in flash mode so how you are going to use this tx is that you are going to link this tx with earth you know what i'm saying you are going to connect a cable right here on the tx then lead it to earth which is gnt gnz yeah you can lead it anywhere you just have to contact the tx and the earth then connect your phone then your phone will detect on the flash tool in flash mode so that is the first thing then the second thing which is really important and i think you will feel really happy knowing this are these ones right here i think you have been seeing vbus dm and gp on many sections on any pcb so right here as you can see right here on this pcb we have the vbus we have dm and gp and the reason why i'm showing you this is because i know that you really need to know about this because i always see then get a lot of messages from people asking me that how are they going to jump on the charging system when they were changing the char charging system the late point in which they're going to let the charging system peel off the motherboard so how are they going to do jumper so i want you to understand that from now if you see v bus or you see vch on any point on a pcb know that that is the charging positive side you need to know that this is the 5 volt line that is coming directly from the charging system which means that if you try to change your charging system then the, side, the positive side peel off the motherboard where you are going to lay it on the motherboard then you just have to connect a cable right here then lay it on the positive side of the charging system then you will have your 5 volt going right into the PC into the PCB then you will be good to go you know what I'm saying so right here we have the DM you have the DM which is the data negative side so what I mean by data negative side when you are changing your charging system you know that we have the file or we have the data pins on the charging system so if you are trying to change then all the pins on the charging system peeled off then the DM you will need to connect it to the data negative side on your charging system then the GP you're going to connect it to the data positive side so if they completely peel off if you are trying to change your charging system and it completely peels off all the pins you are trying to change this charging system right here and all these pins here peeled off then you will need to worry you understand what I'm saying you will need to worry because you just have to come turn the PCB upside down right now then do all your jumpers and your charging system will charge and it will transfer data from your PC only when you you connect a cable from the V bus to the positive pin then the GM to the negative pin then the GP to the positive pin of data transfer then the other side of the pin on the channel system will be the GND which is the ground you can connect it here 
here or wherever that you know that it's ground so let's turn right here to this other side there are things here that i really want you to understand you always ask my battery pin is broken and it's the the the, the, the solder point on the pcb is no more there how am i going to deal with this i want you to understand these things right here the v part if you don't know that the v part is always the battery positive line then you should know right now which means that if you if you are uh, which means that if you are trying to change a battery connector then the positive side peels off then you are going to find a point on a, on your pcb which is named v pad then lead a cable from the v pad point then go with a directly to the positive side of the battery you understand the v pad is the positive then you will have something right here like ntc which does which you will not find this on many phones but what you will find here on many phones is BAT, then you will have slash ON, which is bad on. That bad on and this NTC is the same thing, which is battery temperature, which is your battery signal. So you know very well that phone now, nowadays always have three important pins for your phone to function well. We have the V part which is the voltage positive we have the bad on or ntc which is to detect the battery id then uh, stop problems like a battery temperature too low or too high then we have gnd which is the ground so if you have your broken pins broken pins on the battery connector on your pcb then you are going to find these three points v part ntc or bad on then you find GND, then jump out your battery, then you will be good to go. Right now, if you look on this PCB right here, you will see that there are many other points in which they haven't named them. What you need to understand is that the PCBs in which they have these points that are not named are PCBs that are complicated to work on, except you have a schematic diagram. Because if you take the schematic diagram of this PCB right now, all these ones, these small pins right here, you will know that they are from here and they are going to this place. And most points, when you see most points which are not named, those points are connected to the CPU. So only those who have a reprogramming box, who have all these unlocking box, that they need to co connect directly to the chip of the phone to do some programming or unlocking, are always using these points. So you don't have to worry right now if you don't have all the reprogramming box because for you to know all these things that are not named right here you will need a schematic diagram and the what you need to understand too is that when you see a connector for example this connector right here is the power button and the volume up and down button and yet you will see that the dots around them are named what you need to understand that if this pin is broken you can still connect the, the the power on button, the volume up and the volume down through these buttons right here. All of them are useful and they are connected to this uh, connector right here. So always know that if you see a connector, then you see this couple of uh, dots around it. That's a jumper point for that connector in case the connector is broken. So that's all and make sure you subscribe and wait for more amazing videos then comment in the comment section if you have any question to ask